Hey guys, it's Jim Warrior, and um, I'm sitting here on the floor <laughs> by um, my altar, and I thought that I would just go ahead and address this week's YouTube Pagan Challenge, um, but also I wanted to give a little review and uh, give a suggestion on a movie that I just finished, like, just finished and decided to film this. And, um, <clears throat> I guess let's address, let's go ahead and address the movie first, and then we can get to the challenge. So, um, I, uh, see, so what is this week's challenge about? It's initiation, isn't it? Okay. So, this week's YouTube Pagan Challenge is about initiation. And what does it mean? And what are your thoughts and stuff like that? Well, um, I take initiation very seriously. Um, however, I do not see initiation for me as something that has to be kind of given to you by someone else. I very much believe in self-initiation. So when I say that initiation is very important to me and I take it really seriously, I really mean self-initiation. Um, this is much like my thoughts on group work last week. While I think that um, group work is really important, and I do like group work, and it has its place, um, initiation is kind of the same to me. It's You can be initiated by someone else, or you can do it yourself, and I much prefer for one to do it themselves, because then I think that it's more personal and more serious. Like you have, That means that you really want it, and you really mean it and you're not being told what to follow and believe and say and you've really you're, you're taking the step forward yourself you're you are showing yourself the door opening the door and passing through the door you're doing all the steps and i just find that a lot more empowering and i think that it's when you initiate yourself into something you take it a lot more seriously i find at least for me i know for some people the act of going into someone else's space and having this huge elaborate, you know, ritual where other people witness it and, you know, having that oomph behind it gives it credibility to them and makes it more real to them and something like they have to live up to and like in a good way. Um, and it makes them strive to really take the path seriously. Um, but I was self-initiated and I do not regret that. Um, I think the bottom line, though, I think that initiation is um, you kind of telling the universe, your gods or whomever, that you're going to take the path seriously, that you're you're really going to commit to um, whatever path you're you're doing, pagan or not. Um, I think that initiation's necessary from a psychological standpoint too, because it is a marker in your mind of like the beginning of your journey or the beginning of study or the the end of study and the beginning of practice um it's just kind of a psychological marker for you to say okay yeah i'm really in this and i'm taking it serious which is not to say if you've never done an initiation you aren't taking anything seriously or you're not devoted um not everyone has to do initiation but i i did i know that i did and um I really, really love it. Um, I loved the experience. I loved writing my own initiation. I loved creating in, um, my own ritual to do with it, crafting all the spells and everything. And I just, I just loved it. I really liked it. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I have to say on initiation. Actually, um, I think it's extremely important. And um, you should give it a go if you haven't, or if you've been thinking about it. Um, but I say that on pretty much everything on the, in the challenges. I'm like, if you haven't done it, you should give it a go if you want to. <laughs> but anywho, um, on to this movie, which is what I really want to talk about. Um, if you haven't seen, there's an animated film called The Secret of Kells. Um, it's an Irish film and it won a lot of awards and it's really really good and it's on Netflix if you haven't seen it and I'm sure on every other streaming service as well 
Um, but uh, The Secret of Kells is really good and extremely pagan. Um, I don't want to give anything away in that movie, but it's really good. And, um, I mean, for the, just for the song alone, Pangerbon, that this, this little girl sings, I'll just say that. Um, in the song, in the movie, that, that song alone is worth watching it for because it's such a good song and it'll be stuck in your head. Um, and it's like in Gaelic. I just love it. In Irish Gaelic. And it's wonderful. Well, those people, uh, the studio behind that movie made another one this past year that, uh, got nominated for an Oscar. And, uh, it's called The Song of the Sea. And I just watched it on Amazon Prime. So, if you're a Prime member, it's on there for free. Um, otherwise, I'm sure you can rent it from any streaming service, again. Because I don't think it's on Netflix, I'm not sure. But I watched it on Amazon Prime, and it was really good. Um, I actually like it better than The Secret of Kells, but I'm very partial to water and to uh, anything about the myth and lore associated with water. Um, and Irish deities. Um, so, I really loved it. And uh, it was great. It had to do with Selkies, which are, if I'm going to really simplify it, if you're not familiar with Selkies, just think mermaids, but instead of fish, seals. So, like, girls and seals. <laughs> um, but it was really good. And, again, it had really great music in it. Um, a lot of Irish deities, like Maka, that was really cool, and MacLear. Oh, my gosh, it was awesome. Um, but it was really good, and it was really... Um, sad, like most children's animated films, um, but it was really good, and it's extremely pagan, so I suggest that you check it out if you haven't. Um, but that's it, you guys. I knew that I was going to have a really short entry for this week. Um, the past few weeks, I just have not connected to the topics at all, so that's why my video entries have been really pretty short and sweet. Um, next week's is probably going to be even shorter for my entry, just because... I'm sorry. But I'm just not feeling the topics lately. Like, I'm just like, can we get something new? And the topics at the end of the year for the challenge are, like, the ones that I really want to do. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I cannot wait. Actually, something to talk about of substance to me. Because these first, the well, not the first few. They were great, too. But the currently, this little cycle that we're in right now, I'm like, good God. Can we get to some really good questions? And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But I just have nothing to say on these topics. <laughs> Um, in depth besides the standard answers I feel like initiation and group work and stuff like that like oh yeah it's good if you're into it like that's all I can really say um, I shared my initiation in a video that we did a few weeks back a um, month or so ago on journaling I read kind of skimmed through but read some of my initiation in that video but anywho that's it you guys I hope wherever you are you're well namaste nashe peace out Girl Scouts